Welcome back. It's Fontaine another time again. We are doing more character building as usual because all my other accounts are currently in the process of farming for primos. As you could tell, we're building Emily today. Her talents are actually pretty good at the moment. We just need a couple more of these. So I could probably get her burst and skill up a little bit. Her normal attack is completely useless. So I'm not even going to bother about it. But she's actually not too badly built. She's going to be one of the easier characters we need to build. Because all we are missing here are a couple of these, a couple of those, and a couple of them. Should all be pretty easy. Her weapon is level 70. We can actually go all the way up to 80 with that. And hopefully 90. Okay, we're just missing 10 of those, which shouldn't be a problem. There are definitely better weapons out there, but with the weapons we currently have, this is definitely going to be the best one. The only thing that's sort of lacking with her are artifacts, which, you know, some of them aren't bad. Like those two are pretty good. That one's not great. This off piece is also pretty good. But yeah, this attack piece, this is the one that is our big problem. So that's where we're going to be spending a lot of effort in today is trying to get better artifacts for her. Also, don't know if you'll be able to see, but you, you may be able to see. I figured out how to get that cool looking effect stuff that I mentioned in a video at some point this i figured out how to get this cool effect that i really liked it was actually very simple all it is is for anyone who's wondering you just turn bloom off if i was to turn bloom on you see now we get the normal animations and we get this cooler animation which i really like i don't know why i just like it i could exaggerate it a little bit more if i wanted to decrease the brightness of the game but then that just kind of messes with the colors of things a bit. So I don't really do that. It makes just running around look a bit weird. But just turning Bloom off makes it that the world looks normal. But those attacks still look cool. But enough yapping. It's time to get Emily built. So let's start off with leveling her up to 90. I'm really hoping we have enough books for this. Oh no, that's not going to be a problem. Awesome. Let's start off with these Lake Light Lilies because they are pretty easy. There's 70, I think, in the world or 70 something. So we'll be able to get them very, very easily. Okay, well, there is all the Lake Light Lilies dealt with. We can stop marking those. And now we can press the right button and grab a load of these because we're going to need a lot because we need 24 for this plus more for her talents and before we start here is her damage she's hitting 2k 5k 6k and with her burst she does 13,000 15,000 so about 15,000 with her burst okay we finished the current bounty let's see how much we can craft I'm doubting we're going to be able to craft what 36 and we can craft 13 of the blues which is going to give us a total of 18 that's not even near enough why are we here crafting let's see how many of these dendro chunks we can get by the looks of things yeah not enough we need six of these we can get two well we can now get four of these this is the last amount of crafting I can do. So unless we can somehow craft two golds right now, which we can't. Yeah, this is, this is not going great. Weekly bosses. Do you drop? Ooh, they do. And I need to fight a pep. So this will work. Well, there we go. There is a pep defeated. Can we get sick? We got a dream solvent. I'll take that. And two of those, which I don't think are the ones that Linny needs. Uh, let's see if that's enough, though, to craft up one more gold. By the looks of things, yes. Only just, though, but that doesn't matter. We have six of the golds now. So I'm going to go finish off all those weekly bosses really, really quick. That was actually a lovely run of our lucky note because we got two of these drops, which means... If we can get enough of these, we could probably push these talents quite far. Okay, weekly bosses are done. Now it is time to deal with the mech things. 
Okay, there we go. After after way too long, I'm pretty sure I've collected every single mech thing that is underwater. All of the underwater ones, I think I've collected all of them. So fingers crossed we have enough. I already looked at Emily. We are one short of the blues, which is annoying. But uh, let's see how this goes, I guess. We can only craft seven. This may prove more difficult than I would have liked. However, Emily can now go to level 90. Boom, there we go. That is now three characters up to level 90. We do have a weapon which I need these for, so I will deal with that later. So I'm going to get Nuvolet's Burst up to seven. Oh, we can get Fremenay's skill up, so we might as well. There we go. Now, Emily, we're going to get her burst and skill. So, burst can go to seven, and skill can go to seven. Now, we're out of these, but I should be able to craft plenty of them. Burst to eight, and now we can't go any further. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Her burst is now at level eight, and her skill is at level seven. Well, now I reckon we need to deal with her weapon, so let's go farm these guys. Okay, Ruin Guard farming is done. I only got one purple, so hopefully I can craft enough. Hmm, okay, that gives us 17. We need one more. Well, uh, I do have an option. Let's do a quick pull on the weapon banner. Because I'm at, like, no pity. So we're not going to get anything. Three pulls should be enough. Now we can jump in here. But now I can get... One last Ruin Guard drop. There we go. Now, Emily's weapon can go up to level 90, hopefully. Yes. Awesome. Sick. Well, there's Emily, level 90. Her weapon, level 90. Her talents, 278. Not bad. It'll do. I'd like to get a couple more of them, but we can't craft anymore. So, I don't want to deal with that. We can do those later. That just leaves us with the artifacts. Stat-wise, we're currently running just shy of 2,000 attack, 58 to 164. We just need a replacement, one of these. Attack percent sands with double crit, preferably. We do not have any of them. And hopefully a better circlet. Oh, they don't want to give us anything right now. We've had... This is our third run. We had three of the... Harmonic Whimsy artifacts two times in a row and now we have more of them. We haven't even got a single one of the artifacts we want, let alone the right stat. We haven't even got the right set. But uh, if worse comes to worst, we can use the thingy-majig artifact crafter, whatever it's called, that thing. We can use that to grab one artifact. However, we would need to have at least one already before we can do that. So, yeah, this isn't going too terribly well. Okay, last run. Can we see something? Uh, no, in fact, we cannot. Well, I think it's time to use some Fragile Resin and do another five runs. Okay, last run. Please give me crit rate circlet. No, this is going wonderfully. Now, I could craft up one of these if I wanted. It'd cost me two, and I only have two. You know what? Screw it. Let's go. Okay, it, it's pretty low rolls, but that's it's fine. Just roll somewhat decently, please. It's pretty garbage, but it's going to have to do. More fragile resin is being used. I need this circlet, please. Last run we are doing. Let's get a piece that we can use or not. Well, I do have one option. We could take her off this piece, which is nice, and put her on this, which is less nice. However, that would enable us to run an off piece circlet, which we're going to steal from an age, just get as much attack as humanly possible, or crit damage. 
which would now bring us up to 64,170. We literally didn't change the amount of crit damage. Let me try rolling this piece and just see if we can get a load of crit damage. Well, are we going to see one more roll into crit damage? We do. 27%. It is definitely better than what she's currently running. So we steal this piece. That now puts her at 61 to 184. It's not great by any means, but it will do. It drops her attack a little bit, but that's fine, I guess. I mean, these pieces are pretty horrible, so I will definitely need to work on her build at some point. I'm definitely going to annoyingly have to keep farming that domain and actually get a good build on her, which I don't want to do, but we're going to have to. So that's what I'll be farming from now on. But let's go see what she does damage wise because I'm not farming any more of that stuff today. Let's go test it out on the Ruin Blight Jake thing, whatever this thing's called. It's the only enemy I can think of that has a decent amount of time where it's easy to attack and doesn't have any resistances. And now damage wise, we want to beat 6k with just her skill and 12k with her burst. Anything better than that and I'm happy. 7k, okay. Good, good. There is definitely damage increases there. That 31k. I think I saw a 31k in there. Yeah, 30, 32k. Damn, okay. That's good. We like to see it. We like to see it. Don't do anything stupid. Burst. I'm seeing 25Ks. Okay. Yeah. I like what I'm seeing. We're definitely doing more damage, which is very lovely. So even though our build is pretty garbage, our damage did increase and we are now doing 35K, I think, or something like that. 32K or something like that. So I'm pretty happy with that. I will take it. It is good enough for now. I'm going to keep farming these artifacts until we get something better. But it's okay. She did get an attack increase from Chevrus, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like sort of content, do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And good. Bye.